going on? Welcome to A Taste in Mexico. My name is Ryan Rose. Today we're going to make something very cool. It is tamales. But we're going to take this a little bit seasonal. Squash is coming in the seasons. Fall squash really goes together. So we're going to make uh, butternut squash. We're going to roast it off, fold it into our masa and make tamales out of it. Very simple to do. Very few ingredients and it's fun to do with the family. So what I have done here is I cleaned up a butternut squash. I took the seeds out. And if you take those same seeds, Alex did a little bit of canola oil in them a little bit of salt, kind of mix it in through there. I'm going to put this on a sheet pan, and I can put this in the oven about 425 degrees for about 30 minutes. It makes a great uh, topping to a salad, or even just something to kind of crunch on while you're uh, watching TV. That same butternut squash, I also put some uh, olive oil on, a little bit of salt, and I roasted that at 350 degrees until it became fork tender. That's what I have here. So what we do with that is put it to our food processor. I'm just going to kind of scoop it out here. Take it out of the skin. You're probably going to get about a cup and a half of it. Great. So we're just going to throw all that in there. I have condensed milk. I love cooking with condensed milk. It, it has so much flavor. There's not much you have to do to it. I'm going to take about a half of this can and toss it into this thing. Great. And then, I'm going to whisk it up. Great, this is looking awesome. I bought a little bit of masa. You can find this at a uh, Mexican market. They have it already pre-made for tamales. If not, you can buy maseca, add a little bit of water, a little bit of chicken stock and some salt, and you'll have a great masa for tamales. That's what I have sitting here in this bowl. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. And then I'm going to take that, man, look at that color. That is just screaming uh, fall, and it's gonna be so great in this tamale. Now we put that condensed milk in there, and the butternut squash really loves sweetness, and that's gonna be great in this tamale. So we got a little bit of uh, a sweet tamale going on. Here at the restaurant, we serve it with a roasted uh, cream sauce, a lot of garlic, um, and some avenido pepper for a little bit of kick in it as well. This one I think we're just gonna eat by itself, because you can eat this by itself. So I'm just gonna kind of fold the butternut squash into our masa. And you can see that the color from the squash is starting to really brighten up that masa. Thin it out a little bit. I'm gonna add just a touch more here. We ended up getting about two and a half cups of butternut squash puree out of this. Now what I have here on the side are some uh, corn husks. They're dry corn husks. You can again find those in a Mexican market. I let them sit in hot water to kind of make them more pliable. If you don't do that, they'll be real brittle and dry and they'll break on you if you're trying to make them pop. Great. It's all mixed in here. So this is how we're going to do this. A lot of times tamales have a filling. This one doesn't need it because the masa is so rich in flavor. So I'm going to take those tamales. I'm going to pick out the best ones that I like at night. you got to have a nice big one or you may have a mess of a tamale. This one looks great. So I'm just going to put the, the husk in my hand and hold it with my thumb here. Take a good scoop of this masa. I'm going to sit it right in the middle of my tamale. Great. I really want this thing to kind of set up right in the middle. I'm going to pull, I'm actually going to bring both of the corners of the side of that corn husk together, pinch them right where that masa sits, and I'm going to fold it over. Now you see that crease there, that's where the two ends met. I'm going to grab that, grab, I'm going to pinch right where that masa is in that husk, and I'm going to pull this thing back until the masa comes to the end here. Great. So now we have the exact shape that we want our tamale to be. To close this thing off so it doesn't dry out when it's cooking, I'm going to grab another husk, hold it just like I did in my hand this time. Now we're, my thumb is holding this uh, the tail end here. I'm going to set that inside the corn husk, and I'm just going to wrap it with this second husk. And again, I'm going to pull that second one back to make a tail, and now we have a perfectly closed tamale. I'm going to set this in here. 
Mexican ingenuity at its finest. We love foil, by the way, here in this kitchen. What I have here, if you have a steamer, one of those steamer baskets that's perfect for making tamales, I just put a couple ramekins in this uh, dish here. Water, about, I put about an inch and a half of water in there and some foil for my tamales to sit. And that's gonna be perfect right there. And to make a topping, I'm gonna take some more foil. Close this thing off nice and tight because we want to steam these now. Close this off nice and tight. And I'm going to put my flame at about a medium to medium high heat on the top of my uh, uh, stove top and let that cook for about 45 minutes. Great, so I let these cook for about 45 minutes. Now I like to cook them to about 90% of the way and then just let them sit by themselves for the last 10% so they become perfectly soft. I'm gonna pull these out. You can kind of see that steam coming out of here. And look at this guy, he's calling my name. Man, this is awesome. I'm pull the, the husk back, redo the work we just did. And look at that, that's really cool. That is like that sugar that it started to caramelize on that corn husk. Look at the color of this tamal. This is so awesome. I mean, Halloween's around the corner, Thanksgiving's around the corner. If you want to throw in some seasonal vegetables in a tamal, wow, that would be a showstopper at the family dinner for Thanksgiving. And that is it. I mean, that is just a beautiful tamal. We got a beautiful shape we made ourselves. Let me take a little bite of this thing. Super hot. Uh, seasonal tamal. Off the hook. We got it here at the restaurant. Come check it out. See you next time on Let's to Mexico. Oh,